what's going on wolfback fam it's your boy kid we back at it again we got some more benny dorm in the house for you guys we're on season one episode two guys so we're still fresh um on the journey excited to see where uh things lead and uh you know learn more about the characters and stuff like that so let's freaking go guys let's get this volume up and let's go oh, get my Real quick, just in case, if this is super loud, just gauge it and um, adjust accordingly, guys. This is blaring on my headphones, and I don't know how bad it's going to be for you guys. Blow it out for a sec. Wonder how that young girl is from last night. Terrible business. Can't there be more than 15, 16? I mean, I've collapsed doing karaoke as well. But that was while singing the last note of Thunderball, not because I was pregnant. Now, seven down, cross-dressing comedian. First word begins E-D. Eddie Large. Yeah. Grandma! What is Tel going to have a baby, Dad? I don't know, son. Why didn't you tell her she was going to have a baby? I don't know. Will the baby be black or white? I don't know, son. Are you only black if your dad was black? Not necessarily. Look at your nana. <coughs> Jesus. Mate, mate, come over there. Come over there. What's that, guys? What's that? Over there. You failed your driving test. <laughs> I don't know what you're cracking jokes for. Your 16-year-old daughter lying pregnant in the next room. Is still gonna have a baby while we're here in Spain, Dad? I wouldn't put it past her. Anything to ruin my holiday. Oh, yeah. Quite an elaborate ploy to ruin your holiday, my Her getting pregnant. Hmm. Fair amount of planning involved. You'll be crippled if it's a girl. Always big in our family, the girls. Twelve pound exactly, my Johnny's was. Olga, the year before, were ten pound eight. Oh, she'll never cope with that lass her age. No, she'll never walk again if it's a girl. Oh, well, as long as we're not overreacting. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I, w I was watching that. What are we doing here, Martin? We're here to spend some time together. Sort things out. Then you thought bringing us here would help to sort things out? You must be out of your mind. Don't be like that. Just look at the sun. Let's enjoy it. You enjoy it, Martin. I'm booking on the first available flight home. Your friend. He ain't hitting that right. <laughs> yeah. Breakfast finishes in ten minutes. One unnecessary move and I'll project our vomit in such a way as to make Linda Blair look like an amateur. I never saw that and give us a clue. Linda Blair, not Lionel Blair. Uh, you can put that out. You what? Not even my unborn grandchild breathing that in. Oh, doctor, rubbish. I've smoked 40 a day since 1953 and given birth to seven healthy daughters. Yeah, six of which wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire. By Christ, McGarvey, you know how to twist the knife on a mother's back. Mother? What kind of mother have you been? Is only Janice still talks to you? I brought my kids up the best way I could. It's up to them if they don't want to speak to me. They don't want to speak to you because you're an evil cow. I'm their mother. I carried every one of them for nine months. A mother deserves respect for that, at least. You're right, Tell. What's the smell in here? <laughs> She's still not out of wash. She reeks. Tell, go and sit down. I'll get you a drink. You can pack that in, mother. This shit reminds me of the scenes where Karen's like, smells like shite. How are you feeling? Why didn't you tell us, love? Why didn't you tell us? I wanted to. Oh, why do you think? 16 years of age. It's disgusting. I've never heard anything like it. 
It's that black lad from the flats, isn't it? Right, that's enough. Out. You what? What are you doing? Come on, outside. You've not been in the sun for ten minutes. You're starting to fade. Well, I'm not sitting out there on my own. I don't know anybody. It's probably a good time for you to make some friends then. I'm not talking to them too queer, fellas. You all right, love? <laughs> I'm all right. Right, do you want to go downstairs? I'm not going to wear. Well... Rolling. What colour would you say that little old lady was? Um, on a Dulux colour chart, I think you'll find that's burnt sienna. No, it's darker than that. Burnt pensioner? <laughs> Michael, put that down. I've told you I'm not paying for that. I'll pay for that. Well, you took your time. Well, here you are. These nice lads have said you can have their sunbed. Are you sure? Yeah, you're all right. We're off out for the day. Thought we might check out the beach. There's a beach. Dad, there's a beach. Come and go to the beach. All right. Cheers, mate. Mum, come and go to the beach, please. See you later, Madge. Don't stay in the sun too long. You didn't say there was a beach. Mum, please come and go to the beach. What the frig is she wearing? She looks like that one from that pop group in the 60s. What was her name? Fat lass that died joking on a sandwich. <laughs> right. Come on. Tell. Come back. Now look what you've done. Oh, look, they're having a barbecue. Mick, Mick. Mick. What? Mick, go and get us hot dogs. What are you doing? I told you I'm not staying here today. I know, we can have one drink here, then we can go and explore. We could go to the beach. I want to go to the beach. It's too hot. Right. Um, some bets. Well, I... He definitely isn't right. There's no sunbeds. What are you doing? Um, well, there, there aren't really any sunbeds. Should we go? Oh. We may as well stay here now for a bit. It's too hot to walk anywhere. You feeling OK? You can get a taxi outside. I said I'm fine here. There are two sunbeds over there. She changed that tune real quick, guys. Katie! Over here! Oh, God. <laughs> Fresh sphincter got an X in it. Hmm, now you're asking. Martin? Hmm? Has sphincter got an X in it? Sphincter. Mm. Um, an, an X. Mm. Uh, uh, I honestly, I honestly don't know. I have uh, never been to London. It is cold. Yes. Yes, fairly cold. We don't see much of the sun in London. Uh, but if the passion of true love lies burning in your heart, you don't need the sun. It's. Crawley, actually. But we lived in London for a while, but we moved for more space. Ah, four children, yes? No. Just more space. <laughs> Whoa! Is it hot enough for you? <sighs> Lager, please, love. Why not? Oh, I won't kick that one out of bed if it crawled in. <laughs> not nice, is it? <laughs> Someone in that condition possibly smoke. No. It's people like that who end up hogging hospital beds for months on end, squandering valuable NHS resources. You're right. <laughs> Look at the colour of her. How can someone who chain smokes stay in the sun that long? She's a human time bomb. <laughs> She's my mother. Talk about an awkward situation right there. <laughs> 
talking mad smack about this girl's mom. She should have got freaking slapped. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're all right, love. She's only happy doing three things. Irritating people, smoking and getting a suntan. Isn't she worried about the C word? No, she's been called far worse than that. No. I meant cancer. Oh, you're kidding. No, she'll outlive the lot of us. No, you take my advice, love. Never take your mother on holiday with you. Well, my mother's got MS, so probably not. Sometimes think I've got that. You think you have MS? Yeah, sometimes. I read about it in a magazine. A lot of people think they've got it, don't they? Do you mean ME? Oh, I don't know. Which is the one where you can't be asked to do out? Which one did you say? I think you mean ME. ME, MS. It's all lazy buggers cracking on the stomach wrong with them, isn't it? I think I'm going to dry off. Yeah. Laters. That chick that's going off right there is the type of person that when you go on a vacation, they don't want to do nothing. Everything that you say, they're like, no, 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 no. The most boring people ever. It all depends on how you handle the experience. I mean, fair play, it hurts the first time you do it. But after that, the body adapts, doesn't it, Jacqueline? Oh, yes. Oh, well, Katie, you're all wet. We were just talking about yoga. You we were thinking about that at one point, weren't you? Um, I think we will go for that walk. If you come up to our room before dinner, we'll show you a few positions, if you like. No, thank you. That's oh, impressive good. stuff. First time I saw Jacqueline's extended triangle, I was lost for words. And yeah, my boys are into that Kama Sutra, guys. What is Coast Coast made from? Semolina. Says here, Bob Dylan. Ooh, Paige. What is dog gonna have a baby? I don't know, Sam. I know what happens when you have a baby. Go on then, what happens? Right, when you have a baby, you have a baby, and then milk comes out your tips. What <laughs> <laughs> those don't eat now there? Yes, darling. Though the way that girl eats, it'll probably be gravy that comes out. Has somebody been up to see our Chantel? Oh, what you mithering for? How far gone did they say she was? Six months. Day my waters broke, I was up a ladder doing me windows. Nobody ran after you then. Mrs. Carr next door just thought I'd rung me chamois out and missed the bucket. Oh, don't talk rubbish. Right, I'll go and get her a burger. Burger! It's right up there, I think. Hang on, it's left. How are you feeling? I'm all right. Bought you something to eat. They're not that nice, but you can have as many as you like. Do you want anything else? I've got a telly next door. Have they? Yeah, I heard it on earlier. Come, we ain't got a telly. If you want a telly, your dad will get you a telly. There you go. Why don't you come down when you're ready? Hiya. How tight, boys? Oh, no, I don't think so. Have you change your mind? You've got free shots at Bruno's bar. Or if you fancy it, I got Sticky Vicky on at Rock Shots. Who's Sticky Vicky? Magic act. You know how most magicians pull rabbits and what have you out of a top hat? Yes. Well, Sticky Vicky pulls it all out of a fanny. <laughs> Is that a joke? No, oh, see for yourself. Well then, these two tickets here will get you first drinks free. But if I were you, I'd have more than one drink before you see her. She's got to be well into her 60s this year. Crack it. Jesus, hold on. Sticky. Vicky, hold on, we gotta go back just a teeny bit, hold on. <laughs> More than one drink before you see her. She's gotta be well into her 60s this year. Cracking up. How's that, kid? That's got to be a joke. Good to see. Hello, well, it's a lot closer on the map. 
Damn. I ain't gonna lie, we're curious to see what the Sticky Vicky is. I hope they show it on this show. Not content with being frozen in ice and buried alive, modern-day Udini David Blaine recently tried to break the world record for holding his breath underwater. Fancy. Do you want another drink, son? Read that last bit again. Not content with being frozen in ice. <laughs> They've got sea lions that play musical instruments and an elephant that can stand on its head. Do they have chairs? Sorry? Do they have chairs to sit on? Sorry, we should have taken a taxi. Oh well, I bet the sun isn't shining like this at home. Yes, another day in paradise. Hi. How's your little girl? Hope you don't mind me asking. No, no, she's uh, she's all right, thanks. She's just taking it easy. Yes, yes, quite right. Will you be down Neptune's later? It'll be a good one. It's Mal Jolson tonight. <laughs> Mal Jolson? Tribute to the South. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. Great act. Personal friend of ours. Known him for years. He's very big in the Costas. Blanca, Rama. Quite big in other places, too, if you know what I'm saying. Freak! He's a big lad. All right. Mm. <laughs> hey, first. Big old boy he is. Big guy. Jesus, you Big freak. lad. Yep. Big old penis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wife can't get enough of him. Do you mean you let him shag your wife? Is that what you mean? Well, when you've got prime steak indoors, why let your friends eat burgers out in the cold? I don't think my mates are that hungry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this couple is gonna crack me up. That's an awkward situation for him listening into this stuff. I beat the world record? How did you do? One minute ten. What was the record again? Nine minutes. Oh, no, Maybe no. you shouldn't have had that pizza. I think when I was a kid and I was in the tub, I used to see try to see how long I could hold my breath. But it wasn't much. Five hours. Five hours lost in a Spanish animal park. I'm sorry. I had no idea the place was so big. Come on, let's get a taxi back. Oh, no, you don't. I need at least one drink before I can face that place again. Well, hang on. Let's, let's have a drink here. This place looks all right. At least away from that vile, disgusting place. I know this holiday can't possibly get any worse. Jesus. Thank you. Sticky Vicky, sexy magic act. Yeah, we get to see it. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got my brothers and my sisters in his hands. He's got my brothers and my sisters in his hands. He's got my brothers and my sisters in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. <laughs> Swingers! Darling, let me know if you want anything else. You need to for two now. No change there. You know what I like about you, Nana? What? Nothing. Hey, you, Come on, you lot, get that down your necks, because after this, we're all going back to the apartment. 
I am not going back there yet. Because we're going to have a night in in front of the telly. We've got a telly. Dad, have we got a telly? We certainly have some. Whoa. Mum, we've got a telly. <laughs> Nice. No, it's not a joke. We first heard about Sticky Vicky in the late 80s, but I don't think she was a young girl when we heard about her. I'd have thought she'd retired by now. She's well into her 60s, apparently. Perfect age. All this rubbish about a woman being at a sexual peak in her 40s. Try telling my Jacqueline that. Mind you, pulling a bunch of flowers out of the old dead-end street twice a night must make her a wee bit baggy. I don't think I'd be much used to her. But I know a man who would. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I was just as offended as you. I didn't know where to look. I'm so sorry. Don't touch me. Not only have you brought me on the most disgusting holiday from hell, I now, thanks to you, have to live with the indelible image of a 60-year-old woman standing naked with one leg on a chair whilst pulling the flags of all nations out of her vagina. How long was that? That must have been longer. You forgot to press start again, didn't you? Damn. I'm sorry, son. Okay, you ready, you lot? Yeah? You ready? Here we go. Right, okay. Here we go. Happy now? Oh! Come on. Typical. He's broken it already. But don't think I'm going to pay for that. Hang on a minute, what's this? It's a meter. They've got a bloody coin meter on it. Wow. Hey, please, will you just talk to me? What more can I say? I said I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry, you're sorry. You're always sorry. Katie, you all right? Where's the television? <laughs> they stole it. <laughs> Did they steal it. Do you fancy a game of rummy? One euro, thirty minutes. All inclusive. The Robin Spanish bastards. Man, have you got any change? You can break off. I'm off back to watch Al Jolson. Oh. Well, I'm gonna watch Teddy. Oh my god, this guy's gonna die or something. I was eye on you when she was a man. <laughs> so I threw the money on the bed and I said, that's the last time I got to Pontefract. <laughs> Somebody's getting some action. <laughs> With an astronaut, a model and a pop star, Al Murray's got a mixed cocktail tomorrow night. If you missed it on Saturday, it's a replay of the happy hour here on ITV1 at 11 tomorrow. Next tonight, though, it's the news in just a minute. All right, boys and girls, that seems to be the end of this episode. We'll make sure, let's see, we skip the ad, make sure that we're good. Yeah, 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 we make sure. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're good, guys, on this episode. Um, interesting episode. That sticky Ricky shit at the end. Holy shit. Uh man, that I ain't gonna lie, those swinger couple is gonna have me dying. I can just see them getting a little bit more extra each episode. You know, this guy was just like laughing. Oh, it's really big. Oh, yeah, it's massive. You know, that's sort of I'm like, damn, this guy is like freaking crazy right there. And um I can't say that I've known any swingers in my life, but we know for sure they out there. So, you know, people get down like that, you know. Some people don't mind that stuff, you know. If you, if someone's going to let you do it, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's for, it's their prerogative when it comes to that type of situations. Um, definitely, that is a very interesting couple, uh, 100%. Um, they seem very interesting to check out more of. Um, the family is great. Um, the little kid that's pregnant right now, um, 
she's ruthless against it to the um the nana the grandmother um she just don't like her at all but a uh, good episode i think i want to see more of it um the couple that interests me right now besides um those guys is definitely the the lady that's a prune with the husband right now you know what it questions that i i, I want to know more about would be like um you know what got them in that situation where you know they need to fix that relationship so what the hell did he do it's probably his fault most likely it's his fault i'm saying that he's not doing it right um so i'm interested to see that because man sorry to say this if i was with her in a in a vacation and she's pretty much doesn't want to do shit i'm breaking up with that chick so she's a she's going to be a character that i definitely will have my eyes on to see if she changes her tune um you know maybe she gets better at the episode she kind of opens up who knows but i i wouldn't be surprised if she freaking does something with that uh the bartender guy you know because i you definitely saw that she's got her eyes on him so and she was actually talking and seemed like a little bit smiling so she definitely looks like she could float around maybe who knows she might go with the swingers you never know put a couple drinks in her and, and things start happening and stuff but um I like Benny Dorm so far. Definitely a show. You got to keep watching more to see what's going to happen. Uh, so I'm excited for it. So far, two thumbs up on the episode because um, I, I feel like it's it's going to be a good show. I don't I don't know why. I got a hunch that I am. It's going to pick up more for me. I'm going to like it more. So we ain't giving up, guys. You know me, guys. I am a completionist, guys. So I always believe in watching a show, even if it's one time only, that um, we finish it. Um, I definitely believe that it's a show that we're going to continue doing. So get used to it, guys. Cause we're going to try it out, guys. Um, I always believe in you know trying things once in the sense of when it comes to shows and and and, and material. So we're going to definitely check it out more. Um, and we'll see what happens with this family. We we'll definitely want to see what happens with the family, guys. Thanks so much for the love and support. We'll see you next time. Peace of love, my dudes. Peace of love. Peace.